I'm Allie. And I'm Theo. And we're Allie and Theo. And today we're watching Ruby Volume 4, Chapter 8, A Much Needed Talk. Yay. So, uh, there's gonna be a lot of exposition in this episode. So, uh, get ready for that. I'm excited. Yeah, there was, uh... Stuff went down last episode. Yeah, <laughs> a lot happening. A lot happening. Uh, Weiss's dad is the worst. Uh, we stand here in. Yes, we do. Uh... And, uh, yeah. Um, sorry in advance if you can hear, um, the sound of, uh, meat frying in the background. Uh, have to make dinner, so. Um, but anyways, without further ado, let's, uh, jump into the episode. Let's go. Alright, a much needed talk. Oh my god. Yeah, my dogs are in the background, by the way. Really? No questions? Looks like you told them everything. Of no questions. This is just a lot Stop to take in. And all. Sure, of course. So these maidens, they're powerful fighters that don't need dust to use magic. Yep. And there are four of them? Yep. Always. Which means that whenever one of them dies, the power transfers to someone, a female, that they care about? Female. Whoever was in their thoughts last. Important distinction. Yeah. Best option, it's someone we can trust. Regardless, their souls become combined, in a way. And that's what you were trying to do to Mira. Wait. Oof. The night the tower fell. You were trying to turn her into one of them. The previous Fall Maiden, Amber, had been attacked. She was young and experienced. Explains how Maiden got the shit out of her. Cinder, somehow managed to steal some of her power, but not all of it. We were afraid that if we didn't do something, the rest would go to her as well. So you forced it on Pyrrha. We oh, didn't force anything. I get why he's mad, the situation though. and gave her a choice, and she chose. You were there. You heard her. Mm. No, I, I get why he's upset. That guy, yeah. Tyrion. Why was he after me? <sighs> well, you definitely painted a target on your back with what you did at Beacon. I told you having silver eyes is a rare trait. And the fact that you're someone that was able to use them seems to have upset some very powerful people. Not many people know about the Silver Eyes. But those that do aren't very happy when they want to surface. What does the Silver Eyes do again? That's why uh, they never... An eye on you. He never said specifically. Sure you were safe. Just that... Oh. <laughs> Sean, <laughs> what are you doing? Well, Brooding. He was using you as bait. Oof. Look, I wouldn't put it like that. It's complicated. That wasn't a no, Crow. Ruby's being hunted. The schools are being attacked. All for what? What is the point of all of this? Will you just tell us what's going on? <sighs> Would you sit down? You're stressing me out, Katie. <laughs> Not many people are super religious these days. This world's been around for a long time. Long How's that standing up straight on a log? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's one sturdy blast. Ozpin, two of them are actually real. They were brothers. The older sibling, the god of light, found joy in creating forces of life. Meanwhile, the younger brother god of darkness spent his time creating forces of destruction as you can imagine they both had pretty different ideas about how things should go obviously the older one would spend his days creating water plants wildlife and at night his brother would wake to see all the things that the elder had made and become disgusted 
counteract his brother's creations, the god of darkness brought drought, fire, famine. All that he could do to rid Remnant of life. Life always returned. Yeah, life finds a way. So one night, <laughs> the younger brother went and made something. Something that shared his innate desire to destroy anything and everything. The creatures of Grimm. You guessed it. How the Grimm were made. The older brother had finally had enough. Knowing that their feud couldn't last like this forever, he proposed that they make one final creation. Together. Something they could both be proud of. Their masterpiece. The younger brother agreed. This last great creation would be given the power to both create and destroy. It would be given the gift of knowledge so that it could learn about itself and the world around it. And most importantly, it would be given the power to choose. To have free will to take everything it had learned and decide which path to follow. The path of light or the path of darkness. Is how humanity came to be. Ah. Humans. But what does that have to do with us? Well, that's what indeed? The kicker. See the four gifts to mankind: knowledge, creation, destruction, and choice. Aren't just metaphorical. Each of them exists in a physical form, left behind by the gods before they abandon remnant. And each of them is extraordinarily powerful. If someone were to collect all four, they'd be able to change the world. And that's exactly what the enemy wants. The Huntsman Academies were created to train generations of humanity's protectors, but they also serve another purpose. Guarding the relics. That's when what the relics are. predecessor founded uh -huh. the schools, he built them around the relics to act as a fortress. Not only would they be easier to defend, but they would be constantly surrounded by trained warriors. The hope was that hiding the relics would keep mankind from using them against itself. And of course, keeping them out of her reach. Uh, scary lady. So, yeah. There's that. Her. You mean Salem? That's right. Not much is known about her. Quite frankly, that's not what matters. I feel like it matters a little. What matters right yeah. now is that she wants the relics. And if she gets them, it's not going to end well. Oh, I forgot this scene was in this episode. Mm -hmm. You know, you can always go in and say hi. I don't want to bother him. A father's never too busy for his daughter. Mm. Not all of my friends would agree with you on that. Yeah, Weiss, for instance. Here. What? Where are you going? You've never been very talkative, but that boy you brought home loves to run his mouth. I want to hear more about the adventures of Team Ruby. <laughs> Holly's like, I want to hear what kind of trouble you got into. Nervous Blake is just your dad. Why are the doors so big? They have very large doors. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. Once again with these tall ass shelves. Please, come sit. Don't worry, I've got it. We need their bookshelves, that's a little bit more acceptable. I don't want to keep you with your nonsense. I've been cooped up in here all day. You still take sugar, right? Actually, uh... Oh, sorry. No, 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 it's fine. Oh, here, take this one. No, They're really, so awkward. It's, it's no big deal. <laughs> you sure? Positive. Awkwardness? <laughs> so oh, yeah, well, I suppose. Uh... Might want to let it cool. Right. So... I love this part. Is it... Uh, warm? In Veil? It just seems like your outfit doesn't cover Bro. 
Neither does yours. It's honestly, you got your whole chest out there. I'm fine. I don't need armor. I can look after myself. I. I know you can. I'm sorry. Why? Hmm? Why would you say that? Sweetheart, what's wrong? What did I say? How can you still love me after what I did? Oof. and I will always love you. You were right. I shouted at you and yelled at you, but you were right. I called you cowards. It's okay. I should have left the White Fang with you and Mom. You're a best dad. I should have listened to you, and I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Blake, it's fine. We never held anything against you. And I never feared you would fail. The only thing I ever feared was that you would fall down the wrong path. And I am so proud to see you have it. But I did. It was... And you pulled yourself out. You came back. Mm. There aren't many who possess that kind of strength. And even fewer that have the courage to face I love their him deeds. so much. He's a good dad. Mountain Glen. Beacon. You confronted the White Fang time after time. I didn't do it alone. No, you didn't. Which is why I wanted to ask you. Why did you leave Vale? Why did you leave your friends behind? Why indeed? I... Dude! Son? Oh, whoa! This isn't the bathroom! <laughs> I'll just be going. Sorry to interrupt this tender family moment. <laughs> I really don't like you. <laughs> Son. All right. So let's say we believe all of this. There really is this crazy evil being behind these attacks, not just some thugs trying to become powerful. Why doesn't the world know? Why isn't Atlas going after them or Mistral? And why aren't we in more of a hurry to get to Haven? Should we be getting them a message? What if they're next? The headmaster over there saw what happened to Beacon. He's not dumb. He'll be on his guard. Besides, it takes time to mobilize forces like that. Fair point. Do you really think they planned out that attack on Beacon overnight? And to answer your question, it's the same reason we keep quiet about the Maidens. The whole world knew about the relics, about Salem. It would be chaos. We'd have another great war on our hands, and this time, you'd have to fight. Implying okay. Remnant has a draft. I have the same questions too. <laughs> oh, damn. Well, Ozpen always put Aura. his foot down. We can't cause Makes panic. Sense. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've heard that. Salem's smart. Mistral she definitely does. Shadows, using others to get what she wants. So that when it comes time to place the blame, we can only point at each other. She's trying to divide us. Humanity. She's pretty good at it. So far, she's yeah. done a pretty damn good job. So is Salem not human? Ah. Uh, no comment. Alright. So what should we do? I don't really know. Not what you want to hear from the adult in the room. Husband, yeah. A lot of trust in the headmasters. Like I said, the schools are an important part of stopping Salem. Atlas is going to be on high alert after the last attack. And what if Atlas is not on high alert? Back. True. It'll be hard to hire thieves and scoundrels. Wait, I meant, I meant, I meant, I meant Atlas definitely has a draft. I figured that's what you meant. Take that. <laughs> in the fact I don't that Cinder really and her crew claim to be from Haven. I think it's likely the next time. Yeah, probably. So, we're on our way to the headmaster. Haven't heard from him in a while, even before the attack. I'm hoping he has the answers. All right. I think it's
It's time you kids got some sleep. Uncle Crow. Yeah. Giant Kylo Ren bandage he's got around his this is a lot abdomen to there. <laughs> and it all sounds crazy, but I'm willing to do whatever I can to help. Because I trust you. But why couldn't you trust me? Why couldn't you just travel with us instead of all of this, this secrecy and, and... Look, this has nothing to do with trust. I... It's a long story, okay? Seriously? Now you're tired of telling us yeah. stories? Did you know the crows are a sign of bad luck? Old superstition. But it's how I got my See, some people can absorb electricity, and some people can burst into rose petals. And some people are just born unlucky. My semblance isn't like most. It's not exactly something I do. It's always there, whether I like it or not. I bring misfortune. Ooh. The semblance is bad luck. <laughs> I guess you could call me a bad luck charm. Comes in real handy when I'm fighting an enemy, but it makes it a little hard on friends and family. Mm. Well, you are just a real bundle of help, aren't you? All right, shut the fuck up, John. All right, John. He just he just yeah. bared his soul, and you're you're making quips. Right. I get that you're pissed, but come on. Where are you going? Taking a walk. Maybe that's not a good idea when you're, like, injured. Yeah. Nothing else, Crow? Not tonight. Who is that? God, can we talk about whichever one of his dickbag parents was like, you're, a, you're an unlucky son of a bitch, your name is Crow. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Personal space. I'm sorry. Okay? No, you deserve that son. I'm sorry. Ugh. Look, I promise it was important. I needed to find you to talk to you. What, son? What could be so important? I was talking to your mom and she said something weird about the white fang. I'm stopping you right there. But I told you. I'm not here to fight the white fang. I'm not here to fight anyone. I'm here to rest, to figure things out, and to see my family. Your mom said White Fang members don't wear masks in Menagerie, but I saw one at the market yesterday. I even got a picture. Son. Look, I'm trying to help. I don't want your help. Oopsed. Someone's out there. Mm. <gasps> she. Ninja? A spy. But why would... Hey, wait! What's happened? The White Bang is evil, I totally called it, and I'm bringing your daughter back! Hmm. I like how they have color-coded sleeping bags. <laughs> <sighs> we should probably get moving. Those are big sleeping bags. Hang on, where do you keep those? None of you were carrying bags. Exactly. Uh-oh. Oh. Now it looks like oh. poison. <laughs> You're really just gonna fucking end it yeah. there? Oh my god. Yeah, they sure are. So, uh, thoughts about all that? There's a lot, of, like I said, a lot of exposition. Well, um, yeah. Um, Crow is. emotionally constipated. <laughs> You're not wrong. I'm. There's a very suspicious Crow. <laughs> In, well, not that crow, but the other crow. Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. So I'm like, 
Yeah. yeah. Um, Sun is really annoying. He's <laughs> yeah, a little, but uh, God, Blake's dad is so supportive and wholesome. I love him. Yeah, I really like that. That was a good. That was a good moment. Yeah, till Sun ruined it. <laughs> he, why does he? Well, I do. Him? I do like Sun, but God. No, he's I like really him. But he's just this really season. annoying. <laughs> yeah. Um. And then um. Yeah, so those are those are what the relics are. They're the four, I guess, uh, ideals on which humanity was created: creation, yeah, destruction, sense, knowledge, and choice. Knowledge. But yeah, no, I'm I'm interested to see where this season goes. Yeah, um, we're really getting into we it. We are, we are. So we got oh, we've got some good stuff coming up. Oh. <laughs> Well, I'm excited to watch the next episode. Yeah, so we should uh, we should get to it. So don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Follow us on Twitter, please. And That'd be very talk to us in the comments. Anything please. and everything. Love suggestions. Love hearing from yeah, you guys. Yeah, suggestions, arguments. Tell us how your day was. <laughs> yeah, like literally whatever you want to write. Yeah. <laughs> Reread all of them. Every single one. Even if we don't respond, we read all of them. Yeah, we, we absolutely do. Uh, I try to respond to most of them. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I guess we will see you in chapter nine. Yeah, catch you later. Bye.